Welcome to the Newsmakers Podcast. I'm Billy Hollowell, and on this show, every day we bring you one interview with a pastor, entertainer, politician, or other notable figure. On today's Newsmakers, we are sitting down with Candace Cameron Bure. You know her from Full House, Fuller House, and a slew of Christmas movies and plenty of other projects along the way. Candace is a person of faith, and she has had a deep history in Hollywood. We're going to talk about what she's currently working on and what she thinks about all the people in Hollywood who are coming to faith. With no further ado, welcome Candace Cameron Bure to Newsmakers. Candace, you have been incredibly busy with Great American Family and so many other projects, but your latest film, My Christmas Hero, this is a really unique movie. I had a chance to watch it uh, the other night, really loved it. What was it that attracted you to, to this particular role? Well, thanks. I'm so glad you watched it. I really appreciate that. I, you know, in the I think I've done 13 or 14 Christmas movies now, and I've never done one that focused on the military. And that was my goal for this year. I really wanted to honor military families, uh, servicemen and women, both past and present. And so uh, we developed this script uh, with Jim Head. He wrote it, and he's also produced about 25 movies with me, and we just thought about a theme and 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 that was it it was really based on the military so he had some military background growing up and my grandfather served in world war ii and so we kind of put those those themes together and jim created a really beautiful story that has been very well received i'm so i'm so happy about that and i think the the special part for me was incorporating my real life grandfather and grandmother into the story. So if you saw the movie, you'll see the the photo of my character's uh, grandparents, and those are my real grandparents. In oh wow, I did not realize that. That yeah. that's pretty amazing. Yeah, and even the box that my character pulls out that was a box that her grandmother had saved that had letters when that her you know husband had wrote her when he was at war and those were those were all my real family heirlooms even including the box like it was very very old my grandmother saved every letter that my grandfather wrote her um while he was serving and so there were just lots of special personal touches for me in the film but i love that we um also got to just kind of reflect on on the, the men and women who have a hard time coming back from war and having PTSD issues as well. And, you know, obviously our movies are all very family friendly and, and usually pretty light um, in terms that there's nothing super dramatic, but we got to touch a little bit on those. And we had another wonderful actor, Anthony Timpano, who did such a beautiful job in um, one of the doctor scenes that was just recalling some difficulties that he was having post-war. Yeah, well, and and I thought it was unique because, you know, like you were just saying, I mean, a lot of the films that people love this season, the romance is there. You have all, all of those things, right, about the Christmas movies, but you also have this deeper meaning going on at the same time. And you really don't get that very often. And so I thought that was unique and there was really something there for everybody. Um, yeah, you know, I watched it with my kids. They loved it. My wife loved it. And I really loved that World War II storyline. So you guys did a great job on, on that film. And you are obviously incredibly busy on so many different projects. Do you have another exciting project, Generous Kids, that you're involved in? Tell us a little bit about this. Yeah, this is a book club for kids between four and 12 years old, that's the target audience. And it's a monthly book subscription that any family, grandparent, aunt or uncle, I mean, anyone, if you have young kids in your life, whether they're your kids, nieces, nephews, cousins, uh, grandchildren, it's a book club that sends you one book a month along with a bunch of extra goodies like stickers and collector's cards and all kinds of other fun stuff. But these books have great characters that you'll see month to month that teach values that matter. Values like generosity and giving and kindness and loving one another, um, how our thoughts matter and our words matter. And you get to have these great 
fun books that teach these lessons that you can talk with your kids about. Um, and they're books that you'll want to keep going back to. And I absolutely loved becoming a part of the Generous Kids Book Club. Also, if you're a homeschool parent, there's another curriculum, an additional curriculum that you could buy as a homeschool parent that teaches these values to your kids with these characters. It's about 10 minutes a day, so you could add that to your schooling. And um, you can go ahead and sign up at generouskidsbookclub.com. But I loved being part of this. Reading was one of my favorite things to do with my kids. I love doing it with my nieces and nephews and any of my friends who have little kids. I'm always like, let's go pick a book. Let's grab it. Let's sit down together and read. I think it's so much fun. And it's amazing to, to know that a, a child's worldview and their value system is shaped by the time they're 10 years old. And so if we aren't teaching great moral values, um, values that matter, values that will shape a better world to become a better human being when they become adults. Um, these are the things that that are so incredibly important. And this is one way that we get to do that. These are values that are important to me. These books matter to me. And I, I love them so much. And I know you will too. No, I love that. And, you know, the stats are really, I mean, I don't want to be doom and gloom report here, but the stats on worldview and, you know, even among Christian parents, Christian worldview, it's very small percentages of Americans. And so, you know, building that up, not only for adults, but then obviously the next generation knowing where kids are right now. I love that you have gone into this again. It's a generous kids book club. You've had a big year and this is a general question, but I'm going to throw it to you because I'm, I'm curious, you know, a lot of things have happened this year, a lot of really amazing things. What has been the biggest lesson you feel God has taught you over the past year? Perseverance. Mm -hmm. Like that's all it comes down to perseverance. It, it has been a big year and there's things that I've been so excited about. I've been very, um, um, you know, looking forward to to all that God has provided. There's also been uh, hardships along the way. I mean, there always are. Every year has its ups and downs. And I feel like what God has continually spoken to me this year is to just keep persevering, keep taking one step at a time, uh, keep doing what I've called you to do. And, you know, you're, you're, There'll, there'll be fruit from it. Nothing will be in vain. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So um, some days it's a little easier than others, but, uh, and I really, I really value the prayers and encouragement from people. You know, I'll tell you, we have a, a place on the website on greatamericanfamily.com that you can actually write to any of us on there. You can write to our CEO, Bill Abbott. You can review all of our movies. You can, you know, one to 100, give us your rating. Tell us the good, bad, the ugly, what you did and didn't like. And there have been so many more encouraging notes and positivity that have been so valuable for all of us and me personally to validate exactly what what I've been doing on this journey with Great American Family in my career, um, with all of my businesses, that I'm I, I'm on the right track, and so I'm going to continue to follow God's lead. No, I love that, and it's been fun to watch you over the years just kind of move into these different roles and the things that have sort of come and it and really culminating in this amazing opportunity at Great American Family where you're doing things obviously on an executive level and then you're doing things in front of the camera still. It's just it's it's a powerful thing and I will tell you I think you guys are doing an incredible job of bringing the audience in and having conversations with people and like you were just saying giving people a chance to actually voice things and reach out to you guys. I mean, that is, that's rare in entertainment that the audience has that. And so you, you've all done a really good job of that, but something totally unrelated, but, but something interesting I wanted to ask you kind of looking at, and this is my perspective, the last few months, really January to now, it feels like so many people in Hollywood, you're hearing these conversion stories, people finding Jesus, and you, you had the Asbury revival and all that stuff going on. But particularly in Hollywood, 
it's been really incredible to watch, you know, from your perspective as somebody who's had faith for a very long time and you've been open about that. What's it been like to watch all of these other people um, really just find faith? It's so exciting. Like if I could just have that, the praise hand emojis, <laughs> like <laughs> just all around all the time, if I could just have a little sign that would be the, those praise hand, that's how I feel all the time. I feel like, you know, because our culture has become even more and more divided and I don't think it's going to stop. I mean, I, and that's not out of discouragement, but I just, I, every year it, we're, we have gotten as a as a society um, more and more divided in all different ways in political ways in social ways and so it's really making people take a stand and find what they believe in and and i'm so encouraged by the amount of people that are truly seeking god god of truth god of love and um and and recognizing jesus as savior and then to see that actually be displayed within Hollywood and see people that are quite well known publicly proclaiming, pro proclaiming their faith in Christ is so encouraging because there are so many people out there that value their faith, that wanna take a stand. And sometimes they just need the encouragement of somebody in front of them, whether that's on television, in a movie, who's written a book, uh, who has a podcast, just someone to encourage them, come alongside of them so that they can feel as empowered and as emboldened um, as, as someone else. And I just, I, I don't like that we're more and more divided, but I love that it's allowing people to dig deeper into their faith and proclaim it. Yeah, I think a lot of people have kind of been, you know, culture sold a lot of lies to people. And I think a lot of young people are realizing that, hey, I'm not happy. I don't have these things that I thought I was going to have if I did these things or lived the way that I wanted to live. And and so you have a lot of that, I think, also sort of pressing in on people and, and leading them to find Jesus. And I mean, Daddy Yankee, you're seeing these names and you're like, wow, yeah. this is, I mean, it's incredible. Incredible. I spoke with Danica uh, McKellar recently, and she really credited you with you know, bringing her to the passion play. And so, you know, you're out there, you know, sharing your faith with others in, in personal ways in public ways. And it's incredible. Um, love to see it. And I just want to encourage people to head over to Great American Family um, and check out all the amazing content over there. Candice, as always, really appreciate your time today. Thanks, Billy. Always love talking to you. <laughs> Thanks so much. That's all for today's Newsmakers podcast. Make sure you tune in Monday through Friday for new episodes of the show. We will see you again next time.